This is a video demonstration of the Xylon Cheetah x-ray system. The date September 24, 2019. As you can see, we're demonstrating with some pretty sophisticated boards. We'll get a see the system actuated and we'll be able to see some of the uh, x-rays. We spend a lot of time looking at the monitor. I hope this is comes into focus nicely for you. Let's walk around the system and take a look at the serial tag here. It also comes with a spare part kit that includes filaments and an additional target pad. We'll have our technical manager run us through the demonstration. All right, we're going to close the door. Applies power. We're going to turn on the we're going to turn on the X-ray system. So X-rays are on. The red lights will be be on. Good morning, everybody. From there, we can go to this lower right window. We have our cross here. Here, we can pick a place on the turntable to, to go view first, and the table will move. Mm -hmm. So you can see we selected this. The red cross here is in the area next to that large QFP, and that's what we have up here on the screen. We're going to zoom in on this coil right here. You can also move the manipulator around on this screen with this cross here. And you can roll the mouse wheel to zoom. You can use the joysticks to zoom. We have it set for tube right now, so that'll that will zoom just the tube. And we can zoom X or we can move X and Y. I'm going to zoom way up on this coil just so you can see the detail that we can get. So here in this coil you can see we have, you can see the wire, the wire wrap. You can see where it's bonded. You can even see some debris inside the, the molded case. These dots here are voids within the solder on the actual pads. Same thing with the top side, you can see voids in the solder. Now this over here is the x-ray summary. It shows what power we're set at and what it's actually performing. So we set it at 130 kb, 60 micrograms, and this is what it's actually doing. Vacuum level down here. Now we can switch to a different view. This is the view that will allow us to manipulate the image quality. We can turn on negative. So in this view, all the dark is the dense. So obviously, you know, solder would be dark. That's why the voids show up light. If we turn on the negative, the voids will show up dark. It's just another tool to help inspect the component. Image quality is spectacular. So we'll move on to, this is a QFP, 